Так. Сейчас я открываю а, один из наших текстов, которые мы должны сегодня сделать. Домашнее задание по... А, True, false. True, false, not given uh, an, uh, text and answers and questions. Так, я захожу, беру папка English, папка Надя. Итак, копия Бетховен мы делали, uh, текст. Давай возьмем Canadian English. Все, беру текст Canadian English. Документ, uh, почему-то он не хочет открываться у меня здесь. А в Андре он открывается, там только эти самые. Mm -hmm. Да, сделай себе копию, континия, все есть. То есть я могу у себя открывать его, поэтому сделай две копии. Я свой уже открыла в Андре. И сейчас будет у меня демонстрация экрана. Я переименовываю. Хорошо, переименовываю. У меня мало времени. Демонстрацию экрана я делаю. Вот она. Поделиться, чтобы было видно текст. Итак, текст, чтобы было видно. Начинаем, как Богданчик говорил, с вопросов. Где они у нас начинаются? True. If it's a statement, agree. Так, false is a statement can, can uh, contradict the information not given if there is no information on this Canadian, uh, так, on this Canadian English in consider more like British English by Canadian. Так, мы берем Uh, Canadian English это наше так, это не, не тем цветом, ладно uh, consider это значит uh, uh, ну я знаю, что это значит то есть он uh, Canadian English more like more like это вот это вот вторым с вторым слоем мы берем нет, вот наверное вот так вот надо у Богданчика подслушать. Надо сначала все вопросы прочитать. Нет. Надо сказать, прочитать все вопросы, а потом уже, чтобы понимать. More like. Более-менее. More like. Consider more, more like. Вот. Так. А потом. А Что ты делаешь? Непонятно. Ты... Расскажи. Я делаю то, как говорил Богданчик. Я сначала читаю вопросы, определяю их э, структуру. Дальше я возвращаюсь в текст и открываю сами, сами, сами вопросы и их, от, и, их, и их отвечаю, на них отвечаю. According to the second paragraph, Canadian English is a pretty similar to British with some minor difference. Okay, the St. Lawrence River was colonized by Canadian in the same time. Даты мы сразу ставим was colonized, это понятно, что мы имеем в виду. Так, near American considered, uh, ощущается как, is not American, is not American. Так, ладно, не будем это. Uh, the first paragraph, of, the fifth paragraph states that many English speaking countries adopting changing in uh, pronunciation. Okay, so понятно. Canadian English is considered more like the British English by, by Canadians. Canadian English is considered more like British English by Canadian. Ищем. The standard stereotype among uh, Americans is, is that Canadian uh, like Americans accept they say yeah a lot of pronunciation out of all and about many Canadians is The other hand will tell you what Canadian English in many Canadians on the other hand will tell you that Canadian English is more like British English, more like British English, and is a proof will hold a lot of spelling 
color and center and the name Z and the letter Z, more like British. Canadian English is more like British English by Canadians. Yes, this is true. True. Okay. So, uh, according to the second paragraph, Canadian English is a pretty similar to British with some minor difference. According to the second paragraph, Canadian English is pretty similar to British with the same minor difference. Uh, Canadian does exist a separate variety variety of uh, British English. Canadian does exist as a separate variety of British English with sub uh, sub supply distinctive features of pronunciation and vocabulary. It has its own dictionaries. The Canadian press has its own style guide. The Editors Association is Canada has just released a second edition of Editing Canadian English. But the emblematic feature of editing Canadian English is comparing com, uh, com, comparison table of American versus British spelling so the Canadian editor can come to the reasonable discussion on which to use for each occasion. The core of Canadian English is a pervasive According to the second part of Canadian English, it's pretty similar to British with some minor difference. No, it's not like this. Um, it's not telling yeah, the Canadian. Canadian does not exist a separate variety of British English. Minor with a severely uh, distinctive features of pronunciation and vocabulary. It has its own dictionaries. Okay, it's not similar. And Canadian Press has its own style guide. The Editors Association of Canada has just released a second edition of Editing Canadian English, but emblematic features of Editing Canadian English in comparison to American versus English spelling. So the Canadian editor can come to the reasonable decision on which to use on each occasion to core Canadian English. Okay. It's a, I think this is a, this is false. Uh, According to the second paragraph, is pretty similar to British with some minor difference. Небольшой разницей. Но тут не сказано, что это небольшая разница. Это разница большая. И имеется свой даже словарь. И все свое. Думаю, что все-таки это false. Okay. The St. Lawrence River was colonized by Canadian in... 2000, uh, 60, 60, uh, 60, 00, uh, the River was colonized by Canadians. Uh, the St. Lawrence River was colonized by Canadians. Tak. History helps in what? indigenous people with uh, far more linguistic and cultural variety than Europe. They're still there, but Canadian English, like Canadian and Anglophonist society in general, gives them little more than desultorily talking notes. Fight between European settles shade Canadian English more. The French started in the 
the French start starting in the 2016. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Colonized the sand, the Atlantic coast starting. Uh -huh. What is the word phrase? Colonized the French starting in colonize the San Luis River region and the Atlantic coast south. If so, yes, this is a true, true, true. Okay. Lawrence River was colonized by Canadian. Какой Canadians? No, is it false? French, false. Okay, yeah, I got it. Canadian English is a considered neither American nor not American. Canadian English is neither American. Canadian English is a considered neither American or not American. Neither American or not American. English get into war with the France, concluding with the Treaty of Treaty of Paris, nine seventeen sixty three, which treated New France to England. The English allowed any French to stay with uh, um, who were willing to come to become subjects of the English king. In the time of the Treaty of Paris, however, there were very few English speaking in Canada. The American Revolution changed that. The founding English speaking people of Canada were United Empire lo loyalists, loyalists. People who flee American independence. People from independence and were rewarded with land in Canada. Thus, American English was from the very beginning both American because its speakers had come from the American colonies are not American because they rejected the newly independent nation. And then English was from its very beginning both American because its speakers had come from the American colo colonies and not American because they rejected the newly independent nation. Neither American or not American. Neither American or not American. Neamerikanski, neither. Я бы написала true. У меня not given нету ни одного. The first paragraph, the fifth paragraph states that many English-speaking countries adopted changing in pronunciation. Just as the Americans sought to have a truly distinct independent American vision of English, the loyalists sound to remain more like England, sort of. Those were people who was a variety of English was already diverging, diverging from the British and vice versa. Neverwood. When the residents of London and its uh, uh, environs began to drop their earth and change some of the Vowels, people is certainly part of the United States, adopted some of the changes, but Canadians did not. Burger state, yes, Burger state, that many English speaking countries adopted it's not many. 
the American mature distinct American version of English is already so more than like English means people who are the English person where the residents of London many countries which countries and its environment began to drop their earth and change some of their vowels uh, people a certain part of the United States parts of the United States adopted some of this those changes but Canada's Canadians the fifth paragraph states that many English-speaking countries adopted changes in pronunciation. Changes begin drop their changes of pronunciation and drop more of these vowels. People is a certain part of the United States adopting Canadians did not. Not given, okay. Oh, where is my? Not given. According to the Canadian English, it's pretty similar to British with more minor. Вот я думала, вот либо вот это false, many countries, and Canadian English pretty similar with the, yeah, I think this is a false. Я делала скрин, вот, для Богданчика, Canadian English, отправляю моему Богданчику. Посмотрим на результат. Так. Идем дальше, смотрим следующий текст. Нет, или хватит? Наверное, хватит. Шестя, все слова знакомы, но вместе соедини. Какой-то бред получается. Так, а сколько времени? Сколько времени это запись? Завершить конференцию.